Another new feature we've added with 3.3 is exposing rules and actions within the uh, Alfresco share interface. Alfresco have had rules and actions, um, I think, since the product was first designed. Uh, and it's a way of automating certain tasks. Uh, I can identify a rule on a folder, and any content that matches that rule, then the action will automatically be run against that. Now, I could use that for uh, defining the type of the piece of content. I could use it for adding an aspect. I could use it for starting a workflow. Or I could use it for creating a, a rendition, a, a PDF of a document. And that's what I'm going to show you now. Uh, I'm back in my user group meetings project. Here I've got my document library. Um, this is where we're storing all of the content associated with our user group meetings. So I've got a folder for the agendas. Uh, I've got another folder for the contracts. And here we can see all the contracts we have in place with the various hotels. I've got another folder for presentations. And this then has subfolders. So I want to have all of the presentations associated with a venue in one folder. So here I've got one for London. And here I can see I've got a, a presentation that's come in that's in PowerPoint format. We can view that, so I can click on the link, and I get a flash view of that, so I can see the presentation, although it's in PowerPoint format, I don't need to start PowerPoint, I can just flick through and have a look at the presentation. Now, as I said earlier, I could quite easily now just download that, create a PDF rendition of it, and then save it back to the system. Um, but rather than do that manually, what I've done is I've added in a rule and I don't know if you can see here, but there's this little trident um, icon. This tells me that this folder's got a rule associated with it. I can, one of the options I have is to manage those rules. So here's my rule. Create PDF. Publish PDF versions of presentations. Um, you can see that the rule is active. It runs in the background. It also runs uh, apply to all the subfolders. So rather than having to go around and allocate this rule, I can just say that all presentations, anything that gets put in there, will then uh, be automatically created with a, 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 a video rendition. So let's have a look. So here we've given it a name, create PDF, a more text description, published PDF version. Um, I can define when the rule is kicked off. So in this particular case, I've said when items are created or enter this folder. So as some people upload a new presentation, then it's going to kick this rule off. Or when items are updated. So if somebody creates a new version of a presentation, then again it's going to in invoke this rule. And again I can add and remove those items. I can set the criteria. So I could say uh, if something's of a particular size, if it was created on a specific date, if it was created by a specific person, uh, if it was a particular uh, type of file, then and again, make this rule happen. Uh, I've just said all items that get added in here. So anything that gets dropped in here will automatically get a PDF version created. Uh, it could be that one of my presenta pre presenters is going to discuss a white paper. Um, we may track that in here. I'll have it, uh, a white paper added in as a document file, but then automatically create a PDF version of that. Um, and then what action to perform? In this particular case, I'm going to transform and copy of content. Um, but there's a lot of other, I could do checkout, I could link it to a category, uh, I could add an aspect, remove an aspect, add a simple workflow, whatever I wanted to do. Create, uh, I'm, I'm going to transform it, I'm going to transform it to PDF, and then I'm going to publish it. When am I going to publish it? I'm going to publish it to this PDF documents area here. So that's my, my rule, a very simple rule. Um, I'm going to now go back to my documents area. And I've got my presentations area. I'm going to add a, a presentation to Australia. So at the moment, there's no presentation in here. So I'm going to upload one. I'm going to select that. And I've got one here, rules and action sample. So let's load that in. So the system tells me it's added that in. So that, that's added it in. The rule would now kick and be running in the background. And if I come and look at my published PDF folder area, um, at the moment it's not here. So I just need to uh, refresh my window. Uh, 
and here's my rules and actions sample um, and I can then click on that so a very simple way of just adding a piece of content and automatically then creating an, another rendition of that uh, in this particular case we're creating a, uh, a PDF rendition that we're going to later publish to the website um, but again you could create uh, different renditions for, for, for different purposes and here's my preview uh, again it's a PDF file uh, but I'm using exactly the same flash viewer it's uh, creating a flash view at the moment um, doing that in the background uh, because it's the first time this document's been viewed um, but when that's done that then we'll be able to view the PDF document in line without actually having to download it and start up Acrobat or another viewing tool to, to, to read that content. So uh, any moment now we should have a PDF rendition of the document. Oh, sorry, a flash view. There yeah, it is. So now I can go full screen and I can quite happily page through the presentation in PDF format. Next video will show you how to uh, create one of those rules. So uh, if you want to uh, watch that, we'll log in as the cloud trial user and we'll set up a rule and actually go through the process of doing that um, and giving you some more of the options.